Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and do an update on the little Tay situation. So if you guys don't know, little Tay is a little nine-year-old girl. I did a video about her recently. After her mother was exposed, people found out who she was, and she ended up getting fired. And we found out that her mother is behind this. Her mother had been recording her at her real estate jobs, at different mansions and stuff like that. Ooh, Gucci gang, little Tay rich. at the Gucci store right now. Shout out to Melissa for helping me find my Gucci clothes. Ooh, Lil Tay out here popping tags at the Gucci store. All right, where do we want to go eat? Well, now more video was exposed yesterday of Little Tay's brother basically telling her what to say on camera, telling her to be more ignorant, to be more ghetto. This entire situation is just really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video of Little Tay being exposed. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Go back, go back, and say like, no, you, you, you broke, broke ass bitch. You still, you, you out here. You are out here like with your irrelevant ass. You you making a video on me like bitch I'm way more irrelevant than you. You're trying to be relevant and you trying to be like me Mommy stop! I was filming! Lil Tay be popping on YouTube right now No, 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 no. You need to be like more ignorant. You have to be like Ooh, Lil Tay, Lil Tay out here Wait, what did he say again? You still irrelevant, like I said last time. <sighs> what, what do I say? I'm a trend. Tre I'm a trend maker, and you a trend follower. You a little. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and like I said, this entire situation is just disturbing. Her little brother needs his ass whooped for that bullshit. Okay. First of all, you're the big brother. It's your job to protect your little sister, to be a positive role model for her. How are you sitting here feeding her these words and then you're saying things like sound more ignorant? You know, I'm tired of this entire family. They're basically trying to perpetuate with what they feel is ignorant as black and urban culture, okay? And most black people do not behave this way. They don't speak that way, nor do they carry themselves that way. But like I said in my initial video, it's funny that when a little Asian girl does it, now it's monetizable. Now it's cute. I heard you got a million dollar deal off of these episodes, true? Yeah, you already know what it is. Multi be close a million dollar deal. Really? Why are you asking, bro? Well, I was just, you I be, just heard you behind on your rent? <laughs> I am actually. Let me ask you, like, um, Takashi69 got dropped from this. What, what do you think Multi rich and finna get richer, bitch. Fantastic. Thank you, miss. Now, also told you on that video that Lil Tay's mom needs to watch out putting her out there like that because eventually somebody's going to run up on her and she's going to get confronted. But once again, T Girl Diamond strikes. It happened to Tay. Little Tay was confronted on the street by a grown man, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this flashback. And then I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video that somebody tagged me in the other day on Instagram of somebody pulling up on Little Tay. And the guy who's with her is her brother, okay? Super skinny, super scrawny. There's no security. There's no protection. This shit makes no sense whatsoever. Go ahead and check this out. Her mother is literally putting her in danger. You're putting her into a situation where somebody might see your nine-year-old child and see your little ass, okay, mom, and they may test you because of what your daughter is flossing on social media. They may come up and whoop your daughter's ass because they're trying to hit a lick because of what she's flossing on social media. You might get robbed at gunpoint because of what you are allowing your child to floss on social media. These people don't have it like that, you guys. They're just fronting. You little tight, right? You in trouble? You little Tay, right? You want to flex? Oh, I want to see you flex one time. I like that fly shit. All right. She ain't flexing today. She nervous. You got to put that shit on Instagram. She nervous. Talk some. The real nigga pull up. They nervous. All right. 
All right, so you guys just saw that video of me talking about Little Tay getting confronted and then somebody actually seeing her on the street and confronting her. Lucky for them, that person was doing it for social media views, but the next person could be jumping out the car to kidnap that little girl or beat her ass or whoop her brother's ass. It's like this mother is putting this child in danger, both of her children. For her to be condoning this is ridiculous. There's no way in hell that my oldest child would be able to have his little brother on the internet acting and wilding out like that and that she would be okay. Okay, if this was two black kids behaving in this manner, a young brother telling his little sister to act and behave that way, cursing, acting a fool, driving, you know, doing all types of illegal shit, talking about, you know, doing drugs and everything else. would have been got involved okay and I'm tired of people making excuses for this little girl do I hate this little girl no I don't hate this little girl she's nine years old she's being manipulated she's being a puppet and like I showed y'all my original video the only thing this little girl wants to do is make money for her family and make her mom proud check this video out again I know y'all are rice gum fans but just stop reporting my videos if you actually think rice gum is beefing with a nine-year-old then you just might want to think about that for a second me and rice gum are friends just stop reporting my videos i have a dream i'm trying to make my mom proud all right so you guys just saw the video and like i said before that's the saddest part of this whole little taste situation she doesn't know any better she's a nine-year-old okay and she's being fed what to say you know you can even see in the video where her brother's telling her, you know sound more ignorant say this She's just regurgitating a bunch of bullshit, but what she doesn't realize because she's a child is when you put certain energy out there, you attract certain energy. And I'm literally scared for this child now because like I said, the last person who confronted her, he did it for shits and giggles on the internet. But what if the next person who comes for her tries to beat her up or really seriously hurt her? You know what I'm saying? Her mother is putting her in danger. I think at this point in time, the police and you know, child protective services need to get involved. They need to investigate this mother, who whatever adults are behind this bullshit. Her brother also needs to be investigated and they need to find out why he's being allowed to coach her to behave this way and another thing is these internet sites like instagram twitter and all these sites making these little ratchet ass white and asian kids popular off of their bullshit they also need to be held accountable you know what i'm saying even yesterday at the billboard awards the catch me outside girl was there why because she was nominated you know what i'm saying for best female hip-hop artist of the year it's like what kind of world are we living in where somebody can go on to dr phil because they were beating up their mom they had a horrible behavior and now they're a legitimate superstar slash rapper you know so this entire situation is just really disturbing but once again like i said before Everything about Little Tay and her persona is fake as hell, and these grown ass men out here need to stop co signing this fuckery. Nothing but hate on me all day, bitch. Clean out, bitch. Y'all heard what the fuck she said? The Chief Keefs and the little babies and stuff like that. Y'all stop co signing this fuckery. You already know what it is. Little Tay out here wearing Gucci from. She cost your whole rent. <laughs> Where's cheap salsa? I be wearing new yeah, right. fresh Nike. Y'all be wearing cheap ass shit like hand me downs and shit like that, bitch. Like, before you talk shit about me, why don't you go make some money, okay, bitch? I'm the youngest flexor of the century. I don't know what y'all be doing, bitch. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> if this was a little black girl, y'all would not pay her ass no mind. Y'all would just tell her, go sit a little badass down somewhere. Nobody would be co-signing this. The only reason why they're doing this because it's a little Asian girl and it's being seen as cute and there's nothing cute about her behavior. There's nothing cute about what's coming out her mouth and there's nothing cute about what she's perpetuating to other kids her age, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerned little Tay being blasted on social media and folks posting the video
video of her brother coaching her and telling her what to say. And then also let me know what you guys think about that guy confronting little Tay. Not only did she not have any flexing for him, she also didn't have much to say, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.